Stemme den af dig. Støtterlag. Støt. Støtterlag. Støt dem hele. ابنتي ابنتي الحرة الحرة العفيفة العفيفة نجود نجود قلت لي اليوم بنت المحكمة تشتي الطلاق المشكلة انا مش عارف ايش اعمل لها ما فيش قانون في البلاد يمنع الزواج المبكر وانا عندك المدينة ويعدكم في بيتها الحاجة زي المكان الله يبارك فيك خاطرك يا عم الله يفتح بنات كثير تزوجوا وهم صغيرات بس اول واحده منهم اجت تطلب الطلاق في المحكمه بس موضوعك صعب وملفك شايك ما اقدرش اضمن لك انك تنجحي بالقضيه هي قوم قومي ضوي اوت ولا ارجع عندك هذه البنت ما ربوا اهلها جاي تسمع بينها بقريتنا ما قدرت اشوف ايديني اشتري لك سنده بس هذا زوجش ولا حد في شيء حبيبي ايوه رقت معاه ما رضي فيها شيء يعني اعترفت انك دخلت عليها وهي قاصر؟ انا زوجت وهاب ما رقد ابوها. قولوا لي ما هي الجريمه اللي فعلتوها؟ اسكت قولوا لي ما هي الجريمه؟ Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot thank enough uh, Brands Cloud Foundation for giving us this opportunity to share with you our work and uh, stories. Thank you. <laughs> so I've seen images speak louder than words, and it can reach as many people as possible, whether they are educated or not. This is why I chose to be a filmmaker. I use the camera as a tool to fight. Some of you may wonder why I have to fight. Life is beautiful. I totally agree with you. Uh, I fight in order to preserve the beauty in life and against all the injustice that makes life unbearable. Sometimes people and circumstances throw at you difficult choices and you cannot always see where the trap is. But how you deal with the situation and what you decide to make out of your life is 100% your choice. We all know that we don't choose where we come from, nor do we choose our parents. You know, when I was a child, all I wanted was to have a normal, happy childhood. But destiny chose otherwise for me. So I grew up in a family where my father was mentally ill. As a child, I witnessed all kinds of violence against my mother, who was beaten every day by my father. One day, he slit her tongue in front of me, and it was a horrifying experience. So I was um, traumatized by what was happening around me, but then when I started school, I was very happy, and I knew that my life would change. And school became my refuge from the daily violence and abuses at home. But then it did, take, it did not take very long for my family to decide to marry me off at the age of 11 and take me out of school. So I was devastated, and I found myself alone fighting my family who was supposed to protect me. And I was fighting the whole society for my basic rights for education, and also to have my childhood, which I never had. I was also disowned twice by my family, when I was five and then when I was 11. Well, I'm not going to go into uh, all the details about my fight against my family. I just want to make a point here. It is awful that a child has to go through so many pain and sorrow because of ignorance, greed, and unacceptable traditions. 
and that a child has to struggle alone and overcome all odds and obstacles, which is not easy. So, uh, however, in my case, many people ask me how I was able to make it in the end. Um, even my family now cannot even believe how I triumphed over them, and they're still perplex about it until this day. Well, I guess when I found myself living such an uh, unjust life and in such an awful situation, instinctively, I simply rejected it uh, without thinking about it. A child doesn't think, but reacts. That's what I did, and I still do until today, I don't think. I react spontaneously to situations. So, um, at that time in Yemen, there was no influence from outside. And the, um, Yemen was close to the outside world. It's not like nowadays, kids have access and exposed to so many things, social media, information, etc. At my time, uh, education for girls was considered uh, as a dangerous thing. But I knew that education would save me because it was the key to happiness and success. And I knew that I didn't want to live the life that my mother lived. I wanted to have um, a dignified life, and I wanted to live free, and have rights and duties, and I wanted also to take my life in my hand. Indeed, I succeeded after a long fight. And I could have left my life to destiny, and become a victim, and complain about this fair life. But I chose to be stronger than my pains, and, my, and um, the chains also. I broke the chains of the traditions, and all the obstacles in my path. And instead, I chose to challenge them, and to learn from them, and take advantage of them to my own benefits. And I said to destiny, you can do whatever you want, but what I do with my life, it's entirely my choice. So, <laughs> so what I have been through in my life made me who I am today. And sometimes I wonder, if my childhood had been a happier one, would I be the same person? Would I fight for other human beings for their rights, for those who don't have the same character as I do and who are afraid to speak out and claim their rights? Would I also be empathetic in my film toward those who committed crime against their own children by marrying them off at a very early age? I try to put myself in their shoes and see life from their own perspective, to become, uh, to, to better understand also uh, their way of behavior, because I would like to help them to see more of these uh, traditional customs and to help them to see how these customs can contribute or have been contributing to their misery. In other words, to educate them and to bring about change in their lives and in the lives of their families. So that's why I chose to make film. I know it was still dangerous and, and, and not easy, but I assure you, it has made a great difference in the lives of so many women. So I, sometimes life snares at you, but if you keep smiling back at it, at it, it smiles back and it gives up. So my message to you all tonight, please keep smiling. Despite all the odds in this life that may be against you. And please help others to find happiness through your smile and through the passionate work that you choose to do. Thank you. <laughs>